I don't enjoy replying to emails all day, but I do enjoy me some AI, so let's just try to fix it. Two years ago, Apple announced a new framework called MailKit at WWDC 2021. They used it to make sure emails are only sent to people who are members of a specific project. That's a nice idea, but not really what we're looking for here. So let's just create a mail app extension and try to find our way around the framework. Ah, so there are four kinds of mail extensions. Action extensions, which you can use to perform an action when an email is coming in. Compose extensions, which are usable while composing or writing an email. Content blocker extensions, which you can use to bring your WebKit, so Safari, for example, content blockers into your mail app. And privacy extensions used to encrypt and decrypt incoming and outgoing emails. The one we probably want is a Compose extension, so let's select that. All right, so that gave us tons of auto-generated files. The mail extension class looks like the entry point to the extension target to me. So all this does is return a me compose session handler. The compose session handler is basically our delegate to all sorts of actions regarding email composing. We get notified when the compose session started or ended. And we can also use some of these delegate functions to annotate addresses, just like they did in the DataPTC video actually. But the only function we really care about here is view controller for session. But even in there we don't have to change anything as we'll just be using the default view controller here anyways. Which makes me think, are these extensions based on AppKit? Anyways, let's just compile and run to see how it currently looks inside of the mail app. And we also can't forget to enable it in the mail app's settings window first though. So this is basically just an NS popover inside of the toolbar of the mail compose window. All right. So here's what we want to do ideally. We want to take the content of the email, send it to OpenAI to generate a reply and then paste that into the reply email. But this unfortunately isn't really possible because we can't access the mail's message content. So we will have to add a text field into which the user can paste whatever they want our app to reply to. That's also fine. I also want them to be able to select a tone like professional, angry or regular. And of course a button to actually generate the response. So now that we have the basic UI laid out, let's add the OpenAI Swift package by Adam Rush to the project. And make sure that we choose the correct target membership as we need it in the mail app extension not in the main app, obviously. I'll also go ahead and create a secrets.swift file with my OpenAI API key. You can handle this however you want, of course, but since I don't plan on shipping this app at the moment, I think that this solution is totally fine. You could also ask the user to provide their own API key alternatively through the app settings window, for example. If you want to do that, I would suggest you to use user defaults and if you want to sync user default between your main app your settings window for example, and your mail app extension, I recommend to watch this video next which explains how that works in detail. Okay, so let's wire up our button to OpenAI next. We will send a completion request and make sure to increase the max tokens parameter to 100 so the response won't get cut off. Now just switch over the results so we can both show the successful response and potential error messages. And I also added a loading indicator and an error message. The last thing I want us to do is to directly copy the response to the clipboard so the user can easily paste it right into the email message field. And there we have it. Let's try it out. So I got this email from someone asking me if I want to hop on a quick podcast interview. Okay, so let's make our extension respond professionally. So we copy the original message, open up the extension popover, paste the message, select a professional tone, and hit get reply. And after a few seconds, we already got back our response. Yeah, that looks good. So let's just paste it into our reply email and send it right off.